We empower communities to come together and create a better future for the children through education. If you really want to help people, you don't think about the cost. Whether it's monetary or physical, whatever it is, you just do it. There's no trash collection system, but there's a big need of schools in Guatemala. We find a way to engage the community by building schools to narrow trash. The community has to come together and collect 6,500 bottles or 10,000 bottles. Before the volunteers come down, we make sure that the community understands that they only come here to support their project. I was a little nervous because coming to a third world country, you really don't know what to expect. I think for the first time, the name Hug It Forward kind of made sense to me. In so many ways, you hugged us. Oh, is this your room? I just expected some pretty big spiritual and emotional breakthroughs and, you know, just the softening of, uh, of my heart. And I'm not much of a vulnerable guy, uh, you know, I'm kind of hard-shelled, so I'm excited to, about what's going to happen this week. And Everything that we could ask for has been taken care of ahead of time for us. It's been a five-star experience as far as not having to worry about anything. Oh, my God. It's kind of blown away we got off the bus with throngs of kids just clapping for us. We just, all we did was show up and they were clapping for us. I didn't understand why they chose Guatemala. Being from the States, we have a lot of poverty. Even the most poverty-stricken areas in the U.S. have more resources than people here in Guatemala. You get to the community and they're so happy and they show you what joy is. What's cool about going on a trip like this with your friends is that you can have a little competition see who makes the best wall, the fastest wall. Because it tickle, 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 tickle. You don't need the language. This is uh, my little buddy Milton. To feel what you feel with these kids. I had a dream to come down here and do this, but when I get to look into the faces of the kids that are here, I see the dream in their eyes too. So the impact that's left on me is that we all have dreams and we're all part of each other's dream. You're building something that's a legacy for them. <laughs> Dave taught me how to be able to sling mud. And uh, basically, I took his technique, <laughs> took it to a whole new level. This is an experience you don't want to miss. They're very loving, they're very caring, and I think they, I think their number one goal is to make sure that we have a great time while we're here. We think we have the American dream, and you know, this redefines what a dream is. I said to her, "No, no, let me, let me soak the paper. You don't have gloves." And she said, "You don't need gloves to help someone." The experience is, it's, it's almost hard to describe. I, I keep wanting to take pictures, um, but I know when I get home, it can't uh, convey what you, what you feel when you're here. Breakfast is ready. Today you're going to have pancakes, eggs, and fruit. Well, starting the day today, I thought I'd be all right until the last 10 minutes before we had to say goodbye. I get a little tug on the back of my shirt. <laughs> Milton's right behind me, <laughs> and he says something in Spanish, and I don't understand what he says, and the guy next to me says, he says he's coming with you, and it's just, i would never been, I guess, hit like a ton of bricks like that before with, uh, you know, I guess just all kinds of emotions, so it was a, a crazy new feeling. I just wanted you to see the wall as it's fully built. This is absolutely crazy. This was my first week, and I'm so happy that I just the trigger this I go back and I see the kids that I met the last time and that's really fulfilling and rewarding when they remember you. This is Jacqueline. Here it is a year later. She remembered who I was and she still has my earrings in her ear. Today was pretty much the day that was like the life-changing event of the whole thing. You know, you know, there's always companies out there that say, we're going to change the world. And I honestly believe that this company is that company. It just opened my eyes to how we can do something very small that has a huge impact on somebody else. They'll never forget us. They'll never forget the faces and the fun and the, even the names. Just, from one day to the next, for them to come up to you and, and like call you by your name and hold you by the hand, it was really nice. 
um, you need to come on one of these trips because it will, you know, it's broken me down in my core. It's penetrated my heart in a lot of different ways. And I just say, uh, you, you need to come on one of these trips. But definitely thank you, World Venture. Tú debes estar aquí.